right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 236 pounds. Fighting out of Seattle, Washington, USA, Razor. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. advantage as he landed the jab there. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, nice elbow. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? 
All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old doctor. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. And they separate. So there it is, longer reach, paying dividends as he counters with a punch. All right, he engages in a single collar guy here. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Powerful leg kick lands. Guys, really throwing with authority. Oh, collar tie. Dig and kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice one, two there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, man, head kick lands. Look at him working at trying to set the liver down. And they separate. Very tricky to go that body kick. Oh, nice counter jab to snap the head back. A huge knee land. Uppercut lands for him. all about that left kick to the body. Oh, some of the best kicks you'll see right there, live and in color. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. Right hand punches the clinch. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch to the clinch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Again, back into his position. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Switching stances oh, here. That hey! Finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedowns with him without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top of stroke? Now into his mouth. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Second round, straight ahead. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs and it's really starting to slow him down. You cannot let him keep tearing off on your body. He's got to protect that. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight. With that knowledge and that patience, shows his fight IQ. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. 
big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish his fight. And he comes through with a big knee. Now goes in and the hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground time. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, let's go. Work those hips. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the grounded crowd starts. Back to the feet now. Straight right hand, no good. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, that's a nice strike. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong. And that has caused frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head movement and the activity and the awareness of this fighter. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there. And I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. All right, so he catches the kick and promptly counters with the takedown and puts him on his back. Nicely done there. He knew exactly what he was doing. He knew if he had an opportunity to secure a leg off the kick, he would go right to his takedown, and it worked perfectly. All right, single collar tie now. Nice strike. Some nice back and forth action here. Single collar tie now. Left hand punch to the clinch. Huge block there. Takedown defense holds up. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. And now he's got that tight punch. And there comes the separation now. put on display here. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. Ooh, what a head kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Huge he lands for the tie kick. Puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, 
landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Ooh, big shot lands. Checks the leg kick. Good, let's go. I'll work him. I want you in control. And they separate. Big kick lands. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Grab the back of the head. Pull it forward. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Both of these guys going all out. Fight here. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Look at him whip his hip. Oh, big that. knee! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. And a knee. Oh, nice ramble by him there. Take down defense on point. He is a master in transition. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now. Try to establish that jab. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Some serious bruising going on in and around that right thigh. May want to check a leg kick or two. Oh, collar tie. Blocks that strike. Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Got a single collar tie. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, nice job here staying busy. Oh, you gotta watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, it's in there deep. There you go. Right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten them out and just go for the finish. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Real quick leg kick. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big kick lands. Trying to stay in this fight. Oh, nice elbow. 
40 seconds left. Oh! Huge right hand! Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of speed. What a fight so far. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC, and there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment found the opening and landed that big strike. Catch your breath. Breathe. Listen, you can do this now. I want you to go down and put your combination straight down the middle. I need more of that. You ready? You ready? Fight. Head kick rocks. Good punch lands. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. Oh, straight right. Big leg kick land. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish his fight. Well, you've got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Spinning back distance there. Big kick. Oh, single collar tie here. And they clinch once again. Whoa! He's out! Unbelievable! Oh my goodness, what a fight. A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 18 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by Razor. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.